Hey, thanks very much. After having been delayed several months by sequestration, the USS Harry S. Truman Carrier Strike Group is finally underway. Here's a view only Chopper 10 can give you. About 6,000 sailors and Marines will deploy with the group and are expected to be gone for eight to nine months. 10 Here Side military reporter Art Khan has been on the piers at Naval Station Norfolk all morning long. Joining us now from Pier 11, where the Truman pulled out from just a few short, a few moments ago. Art, this was supposed to have happened back in February. Well, that's right, Cheryl. If you remember, the Truman was supposed to be deployed to the Gulf region back then after trouble with work being performed on the Nimitz prevented that ship from entering the rotation. However, the Navy deemed it would be more cost effective to turn the Eisenhower around, put her back out to sea and finish that and hold the Truman until today. The USS Mason was the first ship in the Truman strike group to get underway this morning. As the crew of the Truman prepared to get underway, it looked like they were in a hurry to get away from the pier before someone in Washington changed their mind like they did in February. And it was a pretty big shock finding out right before we were supposed to leave that where we're going. We were just getting everything ready and then just kind of canceled on us. So We were frustrated, quite truth. There's a lot of us that were frustrated in February because we wanted to go. For the families, it was a different kind of frustration. In fact, we were there and uh, all of a sudden, what was it, within the, uh, an hour or two, and all of a sudden, no deployment. But we understood why. You know, the government was holding back a little bit, and saving some money. And it's been hard. It's been hard, you know, just trying to figure out what to do and what, you know, when she's going and how long she's going for. The guesswork is over now. The Truman and her sister ships are finally back to doing the nation's business. So the fact that the families have good confidence that we're back on a normal rotation, uh, you know, and they know when we're coming home, essentially, in the next spring. Uh, I think that brings a little bit of uh, transparency and clarity for them. Yeah, well, one thing's clear. They're going to be gone a long time, nine months. Now, you can see the piers are emptying out pretty quick around here right now. The Truman, as we mentioned already, got underway just a short time ago. We're waiting for the San Jacinto and the Buckley to get underway here shortly. So. The place is emptying out here around Norfolk Naval Station. I'll have more on the deployment coming up tonight in our 90 Minute of News. Reporting live from Naval Station Norfolk, Art Con, 10 on your side.